what the fuck is up my mother fucking baby motherfucking doll babies i miss the shit out of y'all i know y'all miss me too like this shit really feels like a toxic relationship like i just keep leaving and coming back and leaving and coming back and i feel like y'all just did not deserve that like y'all have been so loyal to me and y'all give me chance after chance after chance after chance Speaking of chances and giving chances, can I please ask y'all to give me one more chance? Like, please. I love y'all so much. So, 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 so much. And as y'all already see from this title, I had really big news. And that's part, that's the main part of the reason why I was not on YouTube. So, like, look, y'all can't be mad at me. Because when I was in the house, we wasn't really allowed to film. We wasn't allowed to vlog. Like, I was making little stories like instagram stories if i go out to the club with my friends or like little little stories and i was like filming recording i wasn't able to do none of that so youtube was absolutely out now that i'm done now that the show is over and i'm finished filming i can come back i got so much to talk to y'all about i'm not um as far as hair i'm not taking any new clients because i feel like I put so much work in for the last couple of years. Y'all know I'm working with like really big celebrities. I'm working with uh, a lot of my loyal clients that sometimes I can't say no to. Like my time is getting very, very limited. At any chance I could get called for any type of big opportunity. Um, I just never know nowadays. So I just kind of don't want to take new clients and make promises. And then like I'm not able to do them. And then now they just calling me unprofessional or whatever like you know my loyal clients already know that they, they watch my growth from beginning to now so being that my time is as limited as it is i just kind of want to dedicate it to those that have already supported me and then another thing um it has been getting very weird for me like my life has been attracting a lot of weird people like you know i have my supporters i have fans my followers you know and then i have really weird people that like go about things really weird and it's like if you want to meet me you know just say that but they'll like really book an appointment and come and not even get their hair done like they just trying to see me face to face so, like really creepy shit that has been going on lately and i feel like especially now that the show aired i have to protect my energy before anything so i just kind of want to deal with those that was here before all of that because it has been attracting a lot of weird shit like this is me being 100 percent open with y'all i know i keep it a buck with y'all no matter what i have been attracting a lot of weird shit like for real and you know i'm not scared i'm never scared i don't it, it's not that it's just like my energy is everything and i don't want to do somebody and they got the wrong intentions and i'm my intentions is yeah i'm about to slay this person and people in this world is really malicious and just weird it's people that come to me just to try to tarnish my name like i could have did the fuck out of their hair and they just they intentions was already yeah i'm gonna go and i'm gonna just because they it's they hate like some people just really have a lot of hate feels in their heart if you know me you know i'm based off of love like i can't hate on the next person i can't do that so i gotta just protect my energy and i just want to take you know the ones that has been already came to me before youtube before tv stuff before all that like if my time is going to be cut so short i want to give it to the right people which is the people that actually genuinely support me you understand so now that my time is cutting down a little bit from working so much as in doing hair i can pick up more time for my youtube family And I'm so happy because this is one app, like, sometimes I get haters, you know, that's no matter what. But this is one app that really, really loves me. Like, I could tell a story about when I went to the store and bought a fucking juice. Y'all will be screaming, crying. Like, I'll be like, yo, they just think everything that come out of my mouth is, like, I'm motherfucking Martin Lawrence or something. Like, they just love me. Like, I love y'all. Like, YouTube has gave me the least amount of haters, honestly. My most haters come from my Instagram. 
and it's like i dedicate time to instagram obviously i make most of my money from instagram but i love my youtube people like it's not even just about money all the time none of that like it's about who really genuinely supports me y'all genuinely support me like if i was to come on youtube and be like yo i want to do a meet and greet next week you know how many fucking people is gonna come out for me like so i have to make sure i'm more consistent with y'all because y'all really love me and i really love y'all too like we are literally a stony family like i fucking love y'all stony gang period and my youtuber some of y'all probably don't know because some people just literally know me straight from youtube they don't go on my social media and stuff they just go on youtube like it's a lot of little kids that might not have instagram that love me like you know and y'all don't even know that i was on a show y'all don't know what's going on until i just dropped the premiere party vlog a lot of y'all didn't know like in the cat is out the bag i had to hold this in since july we started filming in august but i knew that this was about to happen since july they reached out to me and they was like yo we want you blah 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 we might be bada boom bada boom we spoke and there i was so to start off with that Oof. one thing i could say i loved working with them they're very uh sweet people um the ceo of the company is very 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 hands-on with his company i love that it's black owned that was the main reason why i went on it like you know i'm gonna always support on my black owned people my black people my black owned businesses my black owned networks whatever the fuck it is i'm gonna bring it you know i just feel like um the show is what it's supposed to be you know we was there for chance chance is cute you know he wasn't ugly so it's not hard for me no chance is cute but um i had overall the best part of the show for me was meeting the girls that i met like i literally kicked it off with bitches that i didn't expect to kick it off with like so we gonna start from the beginning when i first got the phone call to my first day moving into the house i was literally driving i was driving where was i driving to i don't know but somebody my makeup artist called me said something, something. I, can't, I, I can't say too 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 much but basically i got a phone call or whatever um i end up getting in, in like on the phone with one of the talent producers from Zeus, they was like, yo, like, we want you. Like, we love your personality. We love everything about you. Chance likes you. Like, if you like Chance, get your ass down here. Like, basically. And that's just how it went. Um, You know, we spoke about whatever needed to be spoke about. And they gave me a date what day I was leaving. Now, those of y'all that do follow me on social media, y'all know my birthday is August 15th. And, oh, disclaimer, for those of y'all that's always in the comments complaining about I clap too much and this, that, and the third, I'm from New York. That's what we do. Like, if you got a problem with it, then you can get off my channel now. Like, if you got a problem, you could just leave my channel now. Like, because I'm not going to stop being me for nobody. Anyway, I went out there. I feel like I want to put some lip gloss on my lips because I feel like my makeup artist did my lips a little bit too matte. Like, it makes them look ashy. My lips is nowhere near ashy. that's much better but anyway so the day that i was going i just they they booked my flight everything sent me my boarding pass told me what to bring blah 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 how long i'm gonna be there it was damn near a month or plus i went to the airport you know like any other flight it's a whole bunch of people on this plane i was seated up with two other girls i didn't know if they was there for that for what they was there for i just know they was getting on my last nerve like as y'all know i'm from the hood like i don't like certain things i don't know i'm just conditioned to not really complain about care about because i'm not basically i'm not high maintenance like i'm classy but i'm not high maintenance at the same time like i could be high maintenance if i'm in that setting don't get me wrong like if i'm on a date with a sugar daddy or something i know how to be real uppity like yeah i like the finer things in life da -da -da -da. But in real life, that's not me. Like, if I'm at the airport, I'm chilling. I, I got sweatpants on, regular chilling. Like, you know, I'm not so uppity. These two girls I'm on the plane with was getting on my last... But, yo, I was ready to really just come ring them bitches by their necks. Because they like, ah, what no? I'm going to break a nail. I'm not carrying this suitcase. Where is the guy that pushes the cart for you? They had the man pushing their carts. Mind you, I got... Y'all know I'm extra as hell, so you know I came with, like, 
I had five suitcases. I had like two big duffel bags full of clothes and I had three suitcases. So I had two big duffels, two big carry-ons, three suitcases. You could basically say five and I'm by myself. So even, I'm not even complaining and I'm tight, but I just went to go get a cart, whatever, pushing it. Like, I'm not complaining though. They got two little suitcases. <laughs> We're gonna break a nail. I'm totally not doing this right now. Like they really talk like that. Like I'm totally not doing this right now. I'm going to break a freaking nail. And I'm like, yo, I just hope these girls, something in my heart is just praying that they are not coming to this show. Cause if so, oh, I know we gonna get into it. Like I, I just know. We gets on the plane now. They sits next to me. I'm like, all right, so why we got the same seats? that's fishy somebody must have booked us together because we in the same class we in the same group we in the same seat that's fishy i'm still not saying nothing so after a while they just talking 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 i'm like yo where y'all going like can i ask you a question where y'all going like are we are, are y'all coming f by any chance for zeus they like yeah oh my god are you i'm like yeah in my head i'm like oh my fucking god i already met two people I don't want to know what the fuck's about to go on. At the time, I didn't know they were sisters. I thought they was probably best friends. I'm like, yeah, they gonna be a problem for me. Like, I already see it. Like, I'm from the hood, like I told you. So, certain stuff, I just eat up. Like, I done did way worse things and had to go through way worse conditions than having to drag my own suitcase. Like, dragging a suitcase is nothing. Like, so, I'm like, if y'all mind me asking where y'all from, because we all on the, at JFK. Clearly, y'all from New York, but y'all cannot... By uh, any chance be from the Bronx, Brooklyn, or Harlem. I just knew they was not from either. So they like, um, we're from Nassau County in Queens. I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, y'all not really from New York. Like, Nassau County is, is not New York. You're from Long Island. Like, you're from Nassau County. Let's just put that out there right now. Y'all most likely grew up in the house. Y'all got a, you know, kind of silver spoon fed kids. That's why we not really hitting it off right now. Because we don't really relate. Like, yo. Ooh, these girls, I'm wringing neck. I already know on the first episode, like, I could just feel it in my bones. Like, they just complain so much. And these two turn out to be my two almost favorite people in the house, Gabby and Maria. Like, those are my babies. Who would have thought from the airport that I would have really hit it off with these bitches? Like, I hated them so much in the back of my mind. But then they actually ended up being mad cool. Like, once we got in the van, Maria was like, you're Stony the stylist. You do some good ass hair. I'm like, oh, so you're right. No, she's like, yes. So she's telling me she works at a mall. She bartend. And my makeup artist does the makeup for the girls at a mall. So I'm like, my makeup artist do makeup for them. So I FaceTime her and then they was talking. And I'm like, oh, so you know people. Well, no. I'm like, all right. That was a little icebreaker. She, she, she fake got her way up in there. I'm like, all right, maybe Maria a little cool. Gabby, I still don't know too much about. The van went to go pick up, I think, Tokyo. And like two other girls so everybody's just in there i'm just trying to fill everybody out i'm like all right so far everybody cool me and tokyo had hit it off at first completely because we was leo's her birthday was in like two days my birthday was in like two weeks i'm like yo we both gonna be here for our birthdays that's crazy like i thought i was by myself in this like y'all that's following me and i know around the time that i was going i was supposed to have a party and i had to push my party back because i was literally gonna be there for my birthday and i already sold like 200 tickets for my birthday party like when they called me i'm like you guys i have a part a big event coming up a very big event i have a birthday party it's gonna be ridiculous like i had my 90s 2000s party it was literally in like a week and a half he was like We'll throw you a party in the house. Don't worry about it. You're going to be lit. We're going to take care of you. We're going to fly you out. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, all right. So I had to postpone my whole party, all that. So I was like a little bit depressed that I was going to be there for my birthday. So then I met somebody who birthday was coming up too. So I'm like, all right. Like, damn. At least I'm not the only Leo. And at least I'm not the only one that understand that I got to be here for my birthday. Like with a whole bunch of people I don't even know. Like, you know, who wants to spend their birthday with a whole bunch of strangers? But I'm like, whatever. But actually, by the time my birthday even came, which was like two weeks from then, I got cool with so many people. So I actually had mad fun. But at first, I was a little, like, not happy about it. Like, damn, I'm going to really be here for my birthday. And I sold all of these tickets. I'm going to have to change the date. And so many people going to be either asking for refunds or they just still going to come out for me. I don't know. But I just really was not happy about it. So Theo came in. Yeah, we was talking about being Leos or whatever. Me and Yodala already was speaking. Me and Yodala spoke before the show. So we already was acquainted. So once I um got there, I saw Yodala gave her a hug. Like, me and Yodala was cool beforehand. 
disclaimer um she's a leo too like me so you know just big leo energy like it was a lot of leo shit going on like i swear to god that whole time i was in la i met like fucking 15 leos like it was crazy like everybody i was meeting was a leo i'm like wow like so i don't feel alone no more we got in the van all the girls got in whatever um the van took us to our hotels first we didn't move straight in the house we had to go to hotels because the first day we had to do all you know a little photo shoot for the um poster and for the trailer like the thing that you see when it first comes on we all had to do our little solo shots you know the thing you saw when i was like this and then i bent over whatever from there it was already little shit going on i could see who was feisty who wasn't who i already was filling everybody out from the photo shoot i'm like yeah this is going to be crazy i already seen basically like i y'all know i'm big on energy like i could feel people's energy off the rip so i felt who is gonna be the troublemakers but i was a little bit kind of wrong because i didn't expect gabby and maria to really get into anything because they were so like prissy and uppity i'm like yeah they're gonna be like oh no nobody's touching my weave nobody's and they was the first ones getting into fights so my energy radar was a little just a little 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 bit off after the our little solo shots whatever we moved in the house and we started filming and it was a really 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 fun experience for me i had a great time i made a lot of bonds that i feel like are never gonna go away because like only we understand what we was going through in the house and it's like we will always hold on to that and we will always relate like we literally made memories even though it was not that long of a time if you want to call it we literally like when you're locked in a house with people not locked like we wasn't held hostage but when you're in a house with people 24 hours a day for all of those days after a while do you know how much stuff you could go through with people like then you have roommates so you and your roommates are getting like this like as y'all can see at first i started off with weirdos that was just hating on me from the jump i mean i'm not gonna say weirdos because danny that's my bitch she's cool i love danny she's an oldie sweetheart i started off with a weirdo who was just hating on me from the jump i just feel like on the show I was in a very like weird space because it's like you know I'm not here for like what a lot of people are there for which is to get famous to get clout to get their name out there to get followers like I literally already have that stuff I already have a big platform I already have my YouTube supporters I already have my Instagram supporters I have so many clients including big 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 celebrities so I'm not here to make a fool out of myself I'm not here to embarrass myself like I personally trained myself so like these years to have more patience especially with females because i work in a female industry the old me if i was the old me and i was trying to build a brand and a name for myself the way that i have it now and i was still the old me i would have never gotten nowhere because i was a complete ticking time bomb i'm swinging on whoever i used to black out fight jump all of that bleach cut you name it i used to do all of that group homes everything and now that i'm like building a brand that is based off women i had to train myself so much to be you know like patient and not feisty and professional and you know i made myself a boss so when i came there i was already a boss and to be a boss you have to not lower to peasants levels like and i hate speaking like this like it doesn't even feel comfortable coming out of my mouth because i'm so humble and i feel like you know everything could get taken from me in one day not saying it would happen but it can because i believe in god and i feel like god doesn't like ugly so i never like to like feel like i'm better to my own horn like i don't feel like i'm better than any next person i just feel like i came from a very very long way and after this i'm gonna drop a uh because it's highly requested i'm gonna drop a story right after this video i'll make you guys another one a story about my life which i never speak on because i don't like sympathy but it was requested from my viewers and people that's just meeting me on the show like we want to get to know you more and people were saying like they feel like i don't open up too much about me and who i am and people want to know my story you know and get inspired by it and i get it i don't really like to speak on my story because i'm not here for that like i came here i feel like 
when you speak on everything you've been through, you're looking for sympathy. And I don't look for sympathy. I, I like to speak on what I'm doing now. Because speaking on the past is not going to change what happened. It's on what made people feel sorry for me. And I don't want that. I feel like people have been feeling sorry for me a lot of times in my life. And I don't want nobody ever to feel sorry for me. Because I am where I am now. And I am I love my life now, you know. So I never speak on, like, what I went through and stuff like that. But people say I don't open up and this and that. So I'm going to really open up to you guys. Like, I'm going to literally make a video and let you guys really get into my life and my past and everything that I've really been through. But, um, which is really hard for me. But, like I was saying, I don't like to call myself, I mean, I, I know I'm a queen. I know I'm a beautiful woman. I know all of that. But I don't like to, yeah, these bitches is beneath me. And I don't speak like that. But when we're being realistic now, the people that was coming for me are literally beneath me. Like, I'm talking about girls that, like, stay in motels and sell pussy and... I, I'm not arguing with nobody like that. You understand? Like, a lot of the people there was sex workers. And, like, I'm literally... I work in a female industry. So, I don't even like to argue with females. But I'm literally a boss. And I trained myself so hard to get there. So, what I wasn't trying to do is put on a show to get 15 minutes of fame. And just start beating bitches up. I could do that. That's not what I was there for. You know? I, 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 we say we here for chance. Um... Also, I'm here to rep my, represent myself as a boss. I'm a mother. I got a beautiful, good operating business back at home. I have beautiful clients waiting for me back at home. I'm not here to embarrass myself at the same time. I have a big personality. Everybody knows that. I don't have to fight, bicker with bitches to get my name out there. I don't have to do that. People is going to love me just because I'm cute, my confidence, and I'm a boss. Like, I don't have to do all of that. You understand? So... It's like when certain people was coming for me, behind the scenes though, not even in my face at the time, it puts me in a weird predicament because it's like, all right, Sony, you came a really long way. Don't stoop back down to bitches love you. And it's so crazy because I probably would if we wasn't on camera. It's the fact that we're on camera. This is how backwards my life thinks. People think we on camera. Let me go crazy and just come for the most fire bitch so I could get clout. I'm thinking, yo, let me not even slap this bitch because we on camera and this shit is going to follow me forever now. I don't want to be known as a girl. People think, yo, if I book her and I say the wrong things, what if she slap me? Or That might make me lose my money or opportunities. What if a celebrity want to work with me and they assistant is like, yo, no. She was on this show. The celebrity might have not even seen the show. The assistant and her team is like, yo, we see her on the show just going around slapping bitches. I'm not there for that. I literally have shit waiting on me you understand so it just put me in a kind of a weird space you know and i was just trying my best to stay patient like and that's why throughout the show you see me quiet a lot and that's like people that know me personally know that's really not me i'm not i'm far from quiet i have the biggest personality but it's so much already going on that by the time i start filming now I'm in a weird space because I'm thinking, yo, slap this bitch. <laughs> but I got to remember, I got a whole bunch of people waiting for me back at home. I got little girls that really look up to me and stuff. You know, I, I got to, if this is going to be on TV, I got to kind of set an example. You understand? So it put me in weird spaces because in real life, I will really smack you. Like, I don't need the 15 minutes. I will really smack you in real life. So... I got to watch myself now that I'm being recorded. That's how opposite I am. And I feel like everybody that tried to argue with me was the opposite. Oh, I need 15 minutes. Oh, my God. Let me go come for Stoney because she got a lot of followers already. I only got 3,000. So let me go come for Stoney so maybe her followers could see this and then click on my page. And I could get... That was bitches' mindsets, literally, because bitches was talking about that to other bitches, and bitches was telling me. So, I was one of the intended targets. Yodala was another one of the intended targets. The sisters was one of the intended targets because they knew that being at their sisters, they're going to have a big... They're going to have a lot of camera time. They're going to have a big view in their sisters. So, of course. So, she, they was a lot of people's target. Uh, Khadija was a lot of bitches' target because she's pretty, as you could see from even the first episode. Like, we all kind of got came for already. And it's like, we came in humble as hell. So, it was just a very 
up down situation for me like i was put in a lot of weird spaces and i didn't know how to react and i didn't want to react the wrong way and i feel like once i already let it get the best of me and i reacted the wrong way and i was so mad about it but i literally blacked out because i could take but so much and after a while i'm gonna black out like it was just a really like up down experience like it's something that i can't really put my hands on but for the most part i love zeus um i love the the uh employees of zeus they have amazing assistants amazing talent managers like everybody was just so nice to me even on my birthday like they made it so special for me like everybody telling me happy birthday and everything like they was just so sweet and I just loved the experience and I just can't wait for the reunion because I just have I had time to think and now I got it all together like like I said it was a lot bombarding me at once when we first started and now everything is so clear so I just can't wait for the reunion so I could clear out the things that I need to say and what I gotta say and I'm just um happy for all my supporters I love my supporters like y'all are everything like especially the people that like i could just do no wrong in AI. like no matter what i do y'all just still fucking love me and i love y'all for that because we all are human we all make mistakes no matter what and y'all just still have always loved me from day one i try my best to not make no mistakes i try my best to think twice about everything i do because of y'all and because i love y'all because i would never want to let y'all down i just really really love y'all and yeah so now you guys could watch me on tv and you can watch me on YouTube because, like I said, I'm going to be much, much, much more consistent with you guys. And I'm here to stay. Y'all don't got to worry about nothing anymore. I'm coming with the story times. And that's just that on that. So, I'm going to see my babies in my next video. I already told y'all what it's going to be. So, y'all already know what to expect. So, after y'all watch this, go watch that. And if you already watched that, then thank you for watching this. I love y'all so fucking much. Don't worry. I'm going to be back very very soon i'm not going nowhere y'all gotta worry about that i love y'all